All right, so I've just come back from Wakanda. I'm fucking cycling through a lake at the moment. It's up to the pedals. All right, um, but yeah, Wakanda, it wasn't, uh, wasn't that good a trip, to be honest. Could have been a lot better. Uh, they, um, they tried to do too many things with it, I think. Like, it didn't have like a sort of homogenous feel. It was like, as if a lot of writers, too many writers were involved. Um, and maybe like different directors or something. I honestly don't know who directed it. I'm not even looking into that. Uh, don't pay any attention. But um, it uh, it feels like the work of like too many too many hands. They try to do too much shit. Like for instance, the race baiting. The race baiting um, was just funny. It wasn't even very good. Like they had the potential to go full retard with the race baiting, and it could have been funny, but. It was just a bit silly and like half assed. Like something like Roots, you know, the original. That's genius fucking race baiting right there. So I suppose that had a lot to live up to. They didn't live up to it. Um, yeah, it was just funny. Like, particularly, like, say, so, like, the, one of the last lines at the sunset. Fucking unbelievable. It's cracked me up. Um, I mean, the only thing they didn't say was, uh, like, we need to, um, was it we need to secure the existence of our people and uh, a future for the Wakandan children. They might as well have fucking said that at some point. Uh, yeah, it was also let down by the CGI. Like, the CGI kind of... Maybe they didn't have a big budget for the CGI or some shit, or... They kind of fucked it up a few times, it really took me out of the movie a lot. Like, some of the actors were good, like... I mean, that, that English guy from The Office... He took me out of it a bit, but he does with everything. I, I generally... More or less don't watch movies with him in, because... Um, he's a guy from The Office, that just fucking ruins it for me. Uh, but the other, the other like the South African white dude, he was pretty awesome. Um, the girl who played like the sister of the uh, of the prince and the king, he was pretty good. She was pretty good. Um, uh, but where they really fucked up was uh, the music. So they could have um, had the potential here to make uh, make it really stand out by having all of the music and the whole thing just like proper African like I mean it wouldn't even have to be all like full on African primal drums and shit although I would have liked that it could have been a mixture of that and some real African fucking modern music too um, but what they did instead was use like Marvel action music which is kind of shit um, and just the same as every other film ever uh, and then occasionally have like um, some black like Lady Smith, Black Mambasa type African uh, African vocal playing over it, which, did, which didn't even fucking fit. So I think they really fucked up, missed out on a really good opportunity with the music there, which would have cost probably fuck all to the budget, you know, like to do that instead of what they did. Um, but yeah, other than that, like. Uh, as a film, I'd give it 5 out of 10.